Hello MCU fans, today we're going to break down the brand new trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. Probably the last full trailer we're going to get before the movie comes out, although I bet there'll be lots more TV spots. But there is a very cool villain reveal in the trailer. It's one that we actually have been theorizing for a while, but it's kind of cool to see it confirmed. So, lots to talk about, let's dive right in and see what we can find out. Don't forget we have a June contest running all month long. Be a subscriber, leave a comment, you could win a book or a steelbook. Best of luck. And we have a membership option with lots of cool perks, so make sure to check that out in case you might be interested. All right, so I've mentioned in previous videos, but the damage to Wolverine's costume really helps us with figuring out the progression of the scenes in the trailers. And in particular, I wanna talk about these two uh, pieces of battle damage to his outfit, because now we know exactly where those came from. Yep, it would be the katanas that he was shish kebobbed with uh, by Deadpool. Uh, so yeah, the, these two injuries definitely uh, help us uh, figure out where other scenes go. Because look, in this scene where they're in the restaurant talking to each other, you can see those two uh, pieces of damage to his outfit, right? So we know that this is happening well after uh, he gets shish kebobbed by Deadpool, which probably means this is happening after they're initially captured by the villains and break out and get away. So yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, also, I, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but even this little piece of battle damage to his suit, we know where this is. And this helps us because it's when Deadpool jabs him in the leg with the knife, right? So it's like his costume just keeps getting more and more damaged, but that also means this scene happens after they're, they're initially captured by the villains and escape. Very cool. All right, so kind of keep an eye out for that. And let me know, would you like me to go through and do one last attempt at the entire uh, set of scenes we've seen from all the trailers and putting them all in order? Because uh, I love that type of thing. But let me know if you're interested in that, and I would be happy to do that. All right, so uh, let's talk about this big fight. Uh, so before we get to the fight with the new villain, I want to put some context around it. Wolverine and Deadpool clearly have a fight, and I want to you know, make a point here. Notice behind them, that's the Fox logo, right? And then uh, notice Wolverine does not yet have the katanas inside of him, but I'm sure that during their fight, that's what ends up happening. He gets the katanas and the little baby knife uh, jabbed into him, right? Then uh, something happens. So, like, the villains seem to surround them, right? And the way that he says, who's next, is interesting. That implies maybe before our new villain fights him, he fought another villain, right? Maybe multiple. So that's, that's interesting. But here's what I wanted to show. Before we talk about the villain, he's jumping off the, the, the vehicle there. Notice the Fox logo behind them. I guess I thought this scene was happening later in the movie, to be honest. But no, it seems like almost as soon as Deadpool and Wolverine get done fighting each other, in come the villains. Very, very cool with all their different vehicles. All right, but so jumping down off the vehicle, we get our big reveal. Yes, Tyler Maine has finally returned as Sabretooth. So cool. Love him. Uh, I mean, it's clear that this is a love letter to the original trilogy in particular uh, of the X-Men movies. So the, the OG X-Men. I absolutely love it. Also, it is worth noting, behind a Sabretooth, that vehicle is this one that we've seen in the trailers that looks like maybe a tank being pulled by some of the uh, motorcycles from Captain America, the First Avenger. But what I thought was kind of interesting was this. Is that like... I don't know, maybe maybe that when that lowers down, it protects the tank, and so you can't break the windshield, but when they lift it up, they can see out? I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. But does anybody have any theories on what this tank is? Maybe somebody said that in videos in the past. I just don't remember. But anyway, let me know if you know what this tank is. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll learn more uh, when the movie comes out. All right, so now we see uh, Deadpool and Wolverine facing off against a Sabretooth, and notice behind them is that uh, cupcake truck from Moon Knight. I absolutely love that. And Sabretooth says, are you ready to die? Oh yeah, big time fight coming, big time fight. And he shoots out his claws. Oh, those things are just so nasty. Needs a manicure, clearly needs a manicure. All right, so one thing I want to point out is, the reason I said this isn't as big a reveal as it might seem is, remember these shots we've gotten of the villain's hideout and all the different villains there? Many people have theorized from the first time we saw this that that was Sabretooth right there, specifically, specifically due to his height, right? He's so tall, and you kind of see his long hair coming out there. So it's definitely a reveal to know Sabretooth is in it, but uh, we've been kind of theorizing for a while. Also, I did want to point this one out. So I have been theorizing this is Stone from uh, the Electra movie. If you've, if you've if never seen Electra, check it out just if nothing else because this might be Stone. But I know a lot of people have been saying it's Blade, particularly the Sticky Fingers <laughs> version of Blade from the TV series. Um, I, 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 I guess, I guess it could be. 
Uh, and I'd love it if it was. In fact, I did a video on the Blade movies and TV shows. So if you want to check that video out just to kind of get reacquainted uh, with Blade in case he does show up, it's worth doing that. But my guess is that is not Blade because I don't think Blade would be with the villains. Uh, instead, I think that's Stone, but we'll see. So anyway, it is worth noting too that after this fight with Sabretooth, I think that's when Deadpool and Wolverine get trapped inside the giant uh, metal ball and are drug over to uh, Giant Man. So, okay, very cool. Then, this is kind of fun. Uh, Deadpool realizes, wait, wait, before you have this big fight, I need to do something first. So he calls for timeout. I love that. In fact, it's kind of similar to when he called for timeout against the TVA agents. Remember, he's like, wait! So he, he continues to do that, to feel like he can get everybody to, to stop so he can, you know, think things through, or in this case, <laughs> take care of a couple things. He says, you look ridiculous, whips that thing out of him. Uh, people, oh, this is a great line, by the way. People have waited decades for this fight. It's not going to be easy. So think about what he's saying there, right? Wolverine uh, fought Sabretooth, the, that version of Sabretooth, in 2000. Yes, the year 2000, 24 years ago. So Deadpool's right. It has been decades for this rematch. So cool. I love it. But anyway, so he pulls that katana out. Then he pulls this one out and removes the baby knife. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, of course, behind them is the uh, car we've seen in the past. That is the Red Skull's car from the first Avenger that's been tricked out with some uh, Tony Stark uh, flames there and then has the, you know, the Tony Stark uh, headpiece in the front of the car. So that's very cool. Um, then this is interesting. So we're now seeing that, yes, indeed, they're still fooling us a bit with these trailers. So notice he's still got the katana sticking out of him here. But in earlier trailers... They had Deadpool's audio saying, huh, Paul Rudd finally aged, right? Which makes us think, oh, this must be when they're seeing the, the dead giant man, right? No, it can't be because they've not been captured yet. So I think they dubbed this line over this scene, meaning I bet all the trailers have lines dubbed in the wrong places, which is a common trick. But you see my point? He's still got the katanas in him, and he hasn't even fought Sabretooth yet. So there's no way this scene is in front of the Ant-Man headquarters. So very cool, very cool. Then this, talk about a sneaky trailer um, a trick here, right? So this is from an earlier trailer, okay? But keep an eye on this guy right here because now in the current trailer, he looks like that. Yeah, you see what they did, right? I mean, they CGI'd over Sabretooth so that we didn't know that that's who was standing right there. So you do wonder if every one of these villains who still has you know, stuff over them, you know, clothing over them, if all of them really actually we know who they are from the start, and it's not, uh, you know, they've, they've CGI'd over every one of them. If so, that is really, really sneaky. But anyway, so um, I love this. Uh, Deadpool gives some advice to Wolverine, like Wolverine needs advice, but he says, shoot the devil, you take him down, side control, the full mount, and then you ground and pound until he makes no sound. I love it. It's so MMA fighting techniques. Too, too funny. Sabretooth is like, come on, just stop. Let's just do this. Uh, and then now we get Wolverine saying, would you uh, basically shut up? <laughs> there, there are going to be so many F-bombs in this movie. <laughs> I, has anybody done a count of just how many we're aware of from the trailer? It's got to be at least 15, at least. Anyway, uh, so then um, Deadpool says, good luck. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> too funny. Uh, then, yep, time for the big fight. Wolverine gets into position, Sabretooth gives a nice roar, and sure enough, they charge at each other, but we're going to have to go see the movie if we want to see what happens, right? Man, can we possibly be any more excited for this movie? I cannot wait. It looks so good, so good. Now, I'm kind of hoping we don't get any more reveals. This is it. Marvel, we don't need any more. It's going to have a $200 million opening. Don't tell us any more about the movie. But I'm fine with everything they've shown us so far because it's just made me all the more excited. All right, don't forget, June contest. Be a subscriber, leave a comment, win a book or a steel book. And then there is that membership option in case you're interested. And of course, love to mention the Discord. So here we are talking about the new trailer and the excitement for it. Uh, so I will leave a pinned comment so you can join over 1,400 members across the globe, conversations 24-7, and we would like you to be part of them. Also, if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more content, and we'll all continue to enjoy the ever-changing, ever-growing Marvel Cinematic Universe.